Welcome back to the channel. As promised, this is the walk around of this beautiful, beautiful interceptor. Um, this is going to be a laid back one, so sit tight, enjoy the video. And uh, oh man, that, that red, it, the sun just makes it extra. Mm -hmm. actually going to start right off from the tank as uh, I believe this is in my opinion I believe this is one of the most beautiful uh, color options you can get um, and going back to that Royal Enfield batch that crown batch uh, that's so far my favorite uh, this was actually a brought back uh, this used to be on an old interceptors the 700 cc's and that red lettering just complements the tank so well uh, with them knee pads it's just makes everything fit in so perfectly. I just wish it had some sort of uh, pinstriping, which would, a little bit of that gold on the tank as well. Um, that would just add a cherry on top. But, uh, next, I wanna talk about these uh, beautiful bags. These are made by a company called the uh, Trip Machine. Um, very premium quality again. Uh, these are also quick disconnects, so it makes them a lot convenient uh, as you're stashing the stuff in and out. There's a small pocket in the front um a big zipper uh, we won't get into that as uh, many of you know this bike does not belong to me uh, but the whole color scheme that's going on here just fits in so perfectly uh, especially the way this second tone kind of complements each other with the darker tone on top and design wise uh, white wins a premium category is because these are going to be really sturdy compared to other brands that are uh, more of a tie-on on on your plastic panels uh, because there is a metal plate on the back. So in order to install these, you'll have to remove those plastic plate uh, panels. Um, and then there will be a metal plate uh, that will be bolted to this bag and then onto, and then we'll slide in your uh, factory plastic inserts. Um, so sturdiness wise, this gets a two thumbs up. These are not going anywhere. Those of you who missed the last video, please check it out. Uh, I did a complete installation of these uh, Super Meteor 650 switches onto this and grips onto this Interceptor 650. Um, and quality wise, uh, I have nothing else to say. The, these are far superior than what how this came from the factory. Um, I rode this thing and it just felt like a completely different bike. We have some tech levers. Um, these are adjustable. Uh, I'm sure you guys are familiar with the advantage there. And then there's also these uh, premium mirrors. Uh, this is probably the first bike that I rode where the mirrors don't shake. Uh, so highly recommend these. Newer models, uh, these four covers are coming from the factory. But uh, those of you who are like me, uh, who have the old models, this is probably a neat upgrade uh, to add to your bucket list. Uh, this tiny little windshield, looks wise, it does enhance the bike, especially with that stainless steel finish in the front. Uh, and has an engraved logo. But Design-wise, it doesn't really do anything. I rode this thing, I took it almost 65 miles an hour. Um, I, the wind was still blasting in my chest, but again, this is a naked one, uh, so wind will always be there. Uh, one particular mod I'm definitely going to steal <laughs> is this side stand, foot traction board, whatever you want to call this. Uh, this not only improves the lean angle on this bike, adds some sort of height to it, uh, but if you're parking this on a slippery surface, 
that's going to help because uh, that traction board has some thread on the bottom. So I'm definitely stealing that. I'm putting that on my 650. For headlights wise, I'm not a big fan of LEDs, um, especially from <laughs> the looks aspect, at least I can talk about. Uh, yes, uh, there are advantages of an LED, um, brighter, less energy consumption. Um, but this one somehow fits in really well because the background of that headlight is black and that ring. Uh, let me actually turn this on. There you go. Um, just looks super well, uh, super bright too. The high beam pattern, of course, it's uh, sunny out here, so you can't really tell on the camera, but uh, it works. And uh, oh boy, I can compliment this seat all day long. Um, I know this is not a stock one. I'll have to get more info from Amit what this one actually is called. Um, there's no logo or anything. It just says touring on the side, but I guess that's the name. Um, but comfort wise, oh man, uh, I feel like right when I got on this thing, I could ride it for hours and hours. And compared to the stiff one I have on my 650, that only um, lasts a 30 minute of comfort. <laughs> Quickly cover this rack as well. Uh, really neatly tucked in with this upper shock bolt. And there's these two factory bolts, uh, so you're not drilling any new holes. Um, there's a quick disconnect plate in the back, so you can store your luggage. Big, one, I think he has a bigger box in the back. Uh, he puts his helmet in there, a perfect solution. Uh, especially, I know what I have, I have a little lock bolted on the side of these bolts, so I usually hang my helmet there. And uh, which is again, not. it's more of a lighter side solution. Um, but if you're using this for touring, commuting, uh, can't complain about this. Not sure if anybody else missed this, but I missed it when I gave this thing a first glance. Uh, what gives this an aggressive stance uh, are the tires. Uh, they're a little wider. Uh, these are not stock tires. These are Bridgestone. Um, they're 140 by 70 by 18. Uh, the stock ones are 130 and these are 140. So that extra 10 uh, just makes them a little wider. I felt like I had more traction as well. Um, not sure how it helps on the cornering as when I wrote it up here there I wasn't leaning this as much because um, I was more in an upright position uh, but definitely would recommend this if uh, you're looking to get over those stock cheap tires. Front one is a 110 by 90 by 18. Uh, the stock ones are 100 by 90 by 18 so again a difference of a 10 and that 10 the width the 10 width on these uh, Gives them more of that beefy stance, both front and back, uh, especially with that black wheel. Um, just fits in really nice. You can also upscale this to uh, even a larger size because on these interceptors, there's a lot you can do. Uh, the forks have enough room uh, to even take one up to, I believe, 130 on this. Um, but for that mod, you will definitely have to insert a spacer in this front fender. So this will be lifted a little bit and uh, you can run some fat tires. But one thing I do want to add for anybody who is out there looking to get an upgrade on the tires, uh, going size taller or wider does add a more rolling mass weight. So uh, just be cautious of that and know what you're getting into. Because uh, I know some folks, uh, they like the look of those fat tires, but once they put those on, um, the bike feels, it doesn't feel as stockish. Uh, what I mean by that is it's not as nimble to move around, maneuver over. Um, so yeah, be mindful of that. We also got a charging port right here that's uh, neatly tucked away. Uh, I really like this design. It ties on the fork. It's out of sight. And lastly, if... Uh, I were to get one of these, how would I personalize this? I'm actually already sold on getting one of these. These are just so comfortable. Um, as you can already tell by my seating position, uh, a little bit of a lean, not too much, not all, not all the way straight back as I am on my 500. Um, but ag again, with these uh, parallel twins, you do want that a little bit of an aggressive stance as you're cornering this, speeding up and down. Um, foot placement, 
comfortable position, not too far back as the 650. Uh, now the things that I would change, would do, I would definitely add some knobby tires, uh, get rid of some of the plastic junk, uh, and um, definitely do the upgrade of switches, the mirrors, uh, and kind of mimic something what he has done, uh, which is the knee pads, the bags. I would definitely add a rack, the touring, a uh, tote on the back and two side bags. Uh, I love the rack as well, the leg guard. Uh, I would actually add some off-road lighting on this uh, and uh, some protection underneath a uh, skip plate to protect that bottom end. And uh, other than that, it's, it's a beautiful bike, beautiful machine. Uh, I just have to convince him now to uh, get some performance out of this. Uh, and I couldn't really hear this. Uh, so maybe some open headers and uh, uh, baffle mufflers maybe. So I'll have to talk to the guy, see what he wants, but I think he's, he's okay with it. And uh, that's just personalizing what he likes what, versus what I like versus what you guys might like, right? Uh, but yeah, admiring this beautiful machine here, uh, signing off now.